Okay, so here's how you redact information from a PDF file that, or another file that you want to send out to a customer. You have a, a POD, a proof of delivery, and you want to send it out to somebody, but it's got a carrier name and information on it that you don't want included in there, so you want to find a way to blank that out. Rather than actually printing it out on paper, using a, a Sharpie to black it out, and then scanning it back in again, we can do it electronically. So let's say here I've got this invoice. I'm just using this as an example. So here I've got this invoice. It's a PDF file that I've received from a, a, a customer as a POD and I'm going to open that up. It's opening it up in Adobe Acrobat and now this is actually an invoice that's come to, from a carrier and it's 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 several pages. So let's say for instance here's the load confirmation and I, this is what I want to send out to the customer and I want to redact some of this information. Uh, so say for instance I want to redact this carrier information. So what I want to do is I want to print out and I want to print out just this page. I don't want to print out all four pages. I want to print out just this page, redact this information and then save it back out to a PDF that I can send back to a customer. So what I'm going to do is from Adobe Acrobat, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to file and I'm going to go print and I'm going to choose the printer is going to be PDF Creator. So I'm going to choose the PDF Creator. That's a virtual printer that prints to PDF documents. Okay. And I don't want to print all four pages. I just want to print the current page. That's going to print just the page that I'm looking at. This page here with the load confirmation on it. So now I'm going to click print. And in a couple seconds, it's going to open up my PDF Creator window here. Now, the default on PDF Creator, the default profile will create a PDF file. I don't want to do that because I cannot edit that. I want to create a file I can edit. So I could create a JPEG file or a PNG file. I want to create a TIFF file, uh, T-I-F-F, -F, tag, tagged image file format. So I'm going to choose that and I'm going to set it to the desktop. It doesn't matter what the, my file name is. It's just I'm going to click save and it's going to create my TIFF file. Now, I have Adobe, Ac uh, Adobe PDF Creator set up to automatically open TIFF files in, uh, in Microsoft Paint, but let's say I didn't do that. So I'm going to click OK and I'm going to exit out of that Adobe, Cre Adobe Acrobat. So here's my invoice, the, Adobe, the TIFF file that I created. See here it's a, um, you can see the, item, the file type of the TIFF file. So I'm going to right click on that file and I'm going to click Edit. And this is going to open up in Microsoft Paint or Paint 3D, depending on which version of Windows you have. You're all on Windows 10, so it'll be Paint 3D. So there's a couple ways I could do it. If I wanted to redact something, like maybe just the name Jack, or it was something really simple, up here I have my tools, uh, and I have various brushes and some, uh, some various boxes and things I can draw, uh, sizes and various colors. Uh, so there is an eraser tool and if I select that eraser tool now I get this and I can turn around and I could use the eraser tool to erase that. Now that might be a little bit tedious if I wanted to erase something bigger so another way to do it is I can choose my brushes and here's all the different kinds of brushes. There's regular brushes and pens and uh, uh, airbrushing and uh, crayon stuff like that and pencil. I want to choose this marker because it's the biggest brush I've got. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to go over to size. I'm going to choose my biggest size. The color is black. It defaults to that, so that's good. So now I get a nice, good, big, hefty brush. So now I can come in here and I can wipe out. Now notice I can still see Delta Carrier, Delta Express underneath. You got to go back and forth a couple of times to really blank that bad boy out. Uh, and let's get rid of the sprinter and the phone number and the phone number and there's more information referring to Delta Express so let's get rid of all that stuff and the carrier MC number and everything that looks good to me hey if you want to redact more you knock your socks off but that's good with me just as an example so now that I've done that I'm going to come up to file and I'm going to click save and now I can cl close that and now here is that TIFF file that invoice TIFF file and if I open it up again you'll see all the redacted information. So now what I can do is, if I want to, if I want to send a TIFF file, if I want to put that in, in Tailwind, or if I want to send that to, to, the, uh, to my customer, or whatever I can, but if I want to save that back out to a PDF file and then send the PDF file out, 
now from Microsoft Paint, I'm going to just going to do File and I'm going to do Print. And again, I'm going to choose PDF Creator as my printer, and I'm going to click Print and click print and it's going to open my PDF creator window this time I don't have to change the default profile because I want to I want it to create a PDF file so I don't have to change the default profile it's going to create and I am going to just just so that we can see the difference can't even spell my own name uh, I'm just going to change the file name slightly it's still going to my desktop and I'm going to click Save. And here's that redacted uh, view, rotate view clockwise. Here's my redacted file. And so now this file I can send out to the customer and I don't have to worry about them being able to see any of that redacted information because it is well redacted and they can't see it anymore. So that's how you redact. Uh, information. Uh, let's click OK, get rid of that. So that's how you redact information from a PDF file or from a TIFF file that you can send back out to your customers without having to actually physically print it. Use a Sharpie to black the stuff out and then scan it back in again. Hope that works for you.